Uh, very good afternoon to all of you. Thank you for joining us for our weekly media briefing. Um, I don't have any particular uh, <laughs> announcement. <laughs> Fastest finger first is not the <laughs> objective. <laughs> but uh, so we could have a round of questions. <laughs> I did see Shalendra who beat the <laughs> group. Okay, go ahead. Anything related to this, or should we take sep separate? Related? Nothing related to this. Huh? You are related to this? No. Okay, separate. Separate. Okay, Siddhant, I'll come to you. Siddhant, go ahead. Uh, sir, Siddhant from Beyond. My question is on the situation of the Indian prisoners in Pakistan, particularly the fishermen. There are reports that many of them have died in the past few months. Uh, any reaction by the Indian government? Have you reached out to Islamabad? Okay, who did I see here? Okay, I'll come down. Yeah, yes, we'll come to that. Uh, this is Yeshi Sehi from India, the New Indian Express. Uh, the UK uh, Home Secretary has talked about uh, Indian immigrants staying illegally in the UK. Do you think this will be a spanner in the works of uh, the ongoing FTA talks? Will we overshoot the deadline? Okay. Huh? Related to that? Okay, related, I'll take it first. So it's easy. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Let me start. Uh, Reza from Hindustan Times. Uh, the same thing, I mean, the UK Home Secretary making these remarks about uh, how a trade deal could lead to greater immigration from India, and which is what she opposes. I mean, basically, that seems to negate the whole thing about mobility of professionals and uh, students. And uh, also the fact that, you know, she claims that India is, uh, India has the highest number of uh, visa overstayers. Uh, do the facts and figures kind of bear that out? Okay. Uh, somebody else had a hand. I'll just, I'll come back to you. I'll take another. Uh, sir, I'm Kavita Joshi, from the Arihumi newspaper. Se. Sir, my question is that a few days ago, the Chinese government in Bharat, they have taken a LSE and said that the war has now been finished. And in the Bharat and China, the conditions of the LSE have been finished. So, what do you mean to this? Do you agree with that? 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 Uh, anything related? I'll come back another round, perhaps. Related to this? Okay, just, I'll take that one. So this is Manas from PTA. So what is the status of FTA talks between India and UK? Because there are indications that we'll be closing it very soon. Uh, so in fact, will these comments in fact put any spanner on the ongoing talks? And what is the overall status now? Okay. Look, uh, let me try to take one round of these questions and I'll come back for another round. Look, on the, let me start with the case, a very, very unfortunate case in the US. Um, शैलेंद्र आपने पूछा था इसके बारे में देखिए ये बहुत दुखद घटना है इसके बारे में आपने देखा ही होगा रिपोर्टिंग कुछ की है हमारे कॉन्सल कॉन्सलेट जनरल जो सैन फ्रांसिस्को में उन्होंने भी कल शाम को उनके टाइम पे एक ट्वीट निकाला है कि वो उसको इस सिचुएशन को कांटेक्ट में है उनके फैमिलीज और जो मरसत काउंटी उसका नाम है कैलिफोर्निया में उनके पुलिस अधिकारी सक्रिय रूप से इस अपराध के जांच कर रहे हैं और सैन फ्रांसिस्को में हमारा जो दूतावास है वो घटनाक्रम का फॉलोअप तो कर ही रहे हैं कांटेक्ट में है फैमिली के साथ भी कांटेक्ट में है और इस संपर्क में हम हैं और जो भी सहायता हम कर सकते हैं हम प्रदान करते रहेंगे इस तरह से अभी इसके बारे में अभी भी ये ऑनगोइंग चल रहा है इन्वेस्टिगेशन तो इसके बारे में और मैं कहना नहीं चाहूँगा पर हम ये बहुत शॉकिंग इंसिडेंट है और जितना हम कर सकते हैं काउंसलर साइड से हम करेंगे मूविंग ऑन टू सिद्धांत यू हैड अक्वेरी ऑन द पाकिस्तान इशू लुक दिस इज अ ऑनगोइंग प्रॉब्लम बट व्हाट वी अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट देर हैव बीन इंक्रीजिंग नंबर ऑफ डेथ्स ऑफ फिशर इन द रिसेंट time six Indian prisoners of fishermen uh, I think five of them I think were fishermen have died in Pakistani custody in the last um, I think nine months or so all six of them interestingly had completed their um, sentences um, but they were what we would call as illegally detained by Pakistan despite completing their sentences and in spite of multiple demands from Indian side for their release and repatriation um, this increasing incidence of death of Indian prisoners is alarming 
and raises the question of their safety and security in Pakistani jails. Uh, the matter has been raised by our High Commission uh, in Islamabad as well as um, with the Pakistani High Commission here. And we would like to reiterate that Pakistan is duty bound to ensure the safety and security of all Indian prisoners in its custody. And we request the Pakistan government once again to release and repatriate all Indian prisoners immediately. Um, there were a series of questions on the FTA. Look, um, uh, we've discussed this in the past a bit. Uh, so let me let me pick up from uh, that uh, in terms of a deadline or I think some of what is the status. As we have said before, I think there is interest on both sides to conclude the FT at the earliest. I think um, you know, there was a mention about what's the status. Uh, I think you asked right now, uh, Manash, right, yeah. on that. Um, so yes, there we need to, you know, there is interest on both sides. I think Diwali was set as a goal, but that's a goal. Um, I understand that intensive discussions are underway on, on towards this and it's continuing. Of course, as regards the current status of negotiations or any specific deadline, look, I'll have to refer you to the actual negotiators, which is in fact uh, from the Ministry of Commerce and the team, inter-agency team that heads this. So on that, I wouldn't like to get into it. But to say that, yes, I think there is interest. When it will finally happen, of course, it depends on negotiations are, are like that. Uh, as regards the comments, I would like, like to get to the comments by UK Home Secretary, which I saw only as a media report. Um, but um, just to may perhaps mention that, look, um, all negotiations are a part of give and take and, um, you know, I, there are uh, elements that needs to be, it needs to be a win-win for both sides. So I think uh, I wouldn't like to get into what people say, perhaps for domestic, uh, you know, perspectives. Um, I don't have data on overstayers or otherwise, I'm, I'm not even sure I'd be able to comment on uh, overstays. But um, whenever there's an Indian citizen abroad, um, you know, we always uh, strongly encourage legal migration, and if they need to come back, they will come back. But yes, there is a process for that, to have people come back and establish the identity and other elements. So I wouldn't like to comment on that. In any case, I think our High Commission has um, issued a statement in this regard, which probably has more details uh, regarding this issue. Um, the migration mobility is an important element, and you know there was, a, there was an um, the understanding in this regard. Um, which we would uh, expect uh, certainly uh, that both sides would honor it and we certainly are taking action on our elements and we would expect the UK side to also show as uh, you, our High Commission said demonstrable actions on that. Uh, I'll leave that, I think that covers what Yeshi was saying as well as uh, I think uh, Reza you had asked and uh, of course Manash as I said. Uh, uh, regarding the, aapne, Kavita ji, aapne poochha tha iske baare mein, LSE ke Normal see, they keep my spay, Tipani normally high commissioner Kartehe, Yam and Kerkers and Basra Kartehe, Mesmetna, Nikana Changa, Mesra Vitna, Hamjo Kere, Hamarajo, Jistra say Ham Dektehe, market developments on the LSC, Iskebarameta of Jante here, Hamne Kerakaiki, disengagement, de escalation, is there a cast steps Honechi, Hamare external affairs minister Navy. इसमें कमेंट किया था इनफैक्ट उनके फॉरेन मिनिस्टर भी आए थे तब भी हम यही कह रहे हैं पूरी नॉर्मलसी के लिए कुछ स्टेप्स जरूरी हैं वहां तो हम बिल्कुल नहीं पहुंचे हैं पर हम चाहेंगे कि वो पूरा सीक्वेंस रहता है कि डिसइंगेजमेंट हो जाए डीएस्केलेशन हो फिर बॉर्डर पे नॉर्मलसी हो ताकि हमारे ओवरऑल रिलेशनशिप में कोई रेगुलरिटी या नॉर्मलसी जो आ पाए um, अभी वहां तक नहीं पहुंचे अभी हाल में आपने देखा होगा हमारे सीनियर वरिष्ठ अधिकारियों ने यही कहा है कि वो so I think ऐसा कहना करेक्ट नहीं होगा सिचुएशन अभी उस तरह से आ, मैं उसको नहीं कहना चाहूँगा कि नॉर्मल है आ, इसमें कुछ पॉजिटिव स्टेप्स हुए हैं पर अभी भी कुछ और स्टेप्स बाकी हैं ईएम ने जैसे कहा था रीसेंट जो डिसेंगेजमेंट पीपी 15 से हुई थी वो वाज अनदर स्टेप ओके नेक्स्ट राउंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आई सर मेरा पहला सवाल है उइगर अतर एक सवाल <laughs> एक सवाल से शुरू करें <laughs> सर उइगर अत्याचारों पर चीन के खिलाफ यूएन आर के प्रस्ताव से भारत क्यों दूर रहा क्यों दूर रहा जी सर एब्सेंट अच्छा नहीं मैं जस्ट चेक कर रहा हूं आप क्या पूछ रहे हैं <laughs> हम वहीं थे वहीं थे आप दूर नहीं थे हम <laughs> वो रेजोल्यूशन की बात कर रहे हैं यूएन एचआरसी में जी जी, जी जी समझ गया ओके सर माय सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज जिनेवा में यूनिचार्सी से पहली पहली बार कश्मीर के 
आतंकी पीढ़ियों पीढ़ियों ने प्रतिनिधित्व किया क्या आपको लगता है कि कश्मीर में आतंकवाद में पाकिस्तान की संलिप्तता के बारे में सच्चाई सामने लाने में यह भारत के मामले को वैश्विक मंचों पर मजबूत बनाएगा क्या रिएक्शन है आपका well no you before i saw some hands this side please ma'am i'll come back to you sir meena from dd news so there have been reports there has been a student uh, of indian origin in perdin university who has been murdered and uh, the report suggests that he has been murdered by his roommate so do we have any details on it or are we in touch with the student or his family uh, if you like i will have another question as well you had a rule for one okay uh, <laughs> sir uh, there have been also reports uh, of fake job rackets from cambodia so what is the update on it are more people into it uh, and as well uh, cambodia MEA specifically has, asked cambodia specifically also me has given uh, uh, details of the agents who are operating from india so has there been any response from the states that has come okay so who else had a hand up I'll come back to you. I'll just come back. Sir, uh, Shruti Rajan from the Bloomberg. Sir, uh, we are getting reports about the Paris Club approaching India and China on debt, uh, Sri Lanka's debt uh, restructuring. Could you give us an understanding as to uh, India's stand and if there are any hurdles? On the debt restructuring. Yes, sir. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Kadambini Sharma from NDTV India. म्यांमार में जो आईटी प्रोफेशनल्स फंसे हुए हैं उनके नंबर्स क्या हैं क्योंकि कुछ लोग जो वापस आए हैं वो कह रहे हैं कि उनमें दे आर सम वेमेन एज वेल और करीब 300 हंड्रेड टू फाइव पहले अपने क्या कितने कुछ लोग जो आए हैं वो क्या कह रहे हैं 300 हंड्रेड टू फाइव हंड्रेड मोर आई टी प्रोफेशनल्स आर स्टक देर तो बाकी जिन देशों की आपने बात की है अपने एडवाइजरी में लाओस कम्बोडिया की तो वहाँ पर कितने लोग फंसे हुए हैं कोई ब्रेकअप आपके पास है Um, this is Sahasini. Um, I'm sorry, you can't see me. I'm very low chair. Um, I I have a, a, a question on India-U.S. relations, which uh, has three parts to it, and you have to forgive me. We haven't had a briefing for two weeks, so some of it may be dated, but it's important. Okay. Uh, the first is uh, has India protested the United States' sanctions against an Indian company, uh, particularly with regard to Pakistan's um, uh, use of the F-16s. um and the third is a more recent one the us ambassador to pakistan has visited uh, pakistan's occupied kashmir but he's referred to it repeatedly as azad jammu and kashmir does the mea have a comment okay okay let me take this round and i'll come back to another set of it uh, let me start actually with um megna your question on that look this is another incident a very unfortunate incident um again we i'm not sure how much we're following this as uh, as closely in the sense that the i think the perpetrator has been Uh, arrested um also we just checking um i think he's a us nationals but nevertheless given the links to india if there's anything we can do we will assist uh, we are of course um, keeping an eye out on developments of that um, very sad uh, story there on the fake job there was your question also as well as i think uh, kanamani you mentioned about the issue of uh, Myanmar and you mentioned Cambodia look i think there been multiple things we discussed this couple of weeks ago during our presser and i will i try to link both of that uh with this incident actually on the Myanmar side we certainly have been looking at it we have issued advisories our um embassy is in yangon as well as in bangkok have issued advisories we issued advisory i think on the 24th uh, where we highlighted the risk and i would like to reiterate this strongly here to people who are watching look be extremely careful what kind of dubious job offers that you accept because once you are stuck there it gets very difficult to bring you back safely we will try our best so this is just a word of caution uh, if it sounds too good to be true it's probably is too good to be true uh, in specific terms um, on cambodia and uh, aapne um, you mentioned uh, on cambodia look i think our mission there has been putting out as uh, people are being rescued um, i think about 80 odd people have been rescued over the last few weeks months maybe um i of course we don't know exactly how many are there because this is a evolving number and b if we knew we would be able to get them out easier in cambodia but i think uh, the mission had that broad number of people 70 or 80 people had had been pulled out uh, rescued there and they came back uh, back into thailand i think uh um, i think that maybe mix of laos and cambodia but cambodia has been i, I think we yesterday also highlighted some photographs and stuff No, I'm as I saying that's come Laos and Cambodia. So these are nothing to do with Myanmar. Okay, so they're talking about different set of people. Okay, so I'll have to just check exactly uh, how many from which place. 
but I think we have this. We had this problem on the Laos border. We had this problem on the Cambodia. But Cambodia, I think, was 70 or 80 of what I spoke to our ambassador yesterday, and we had that number. Myanmar ke baare mein aapne poocha tha. Wahan pe humne jada information pehle ap apse saaja kar chuke hain. Dekhiye wahan pe bhi is tarah ke fraud offers aate hain Indian citizens ko Myanmar area mein hain. Wahan se hume karib करीब 50 लोग अभी रेस्क्यू हो चुके हैं 45 आई थिंक मैंने भी देखा कि 49 आई थिंक वो नंबर 45 हमने कल कहा था और तीन चार और लोग निकल आए हैं कोई 49 है अब कुछ लोग वहां से निकल गए हैं कैप्टिविटी से पर म्यांमार अथॉरिटीज के साथ पुलिस के पास हैं क्योंकि वो इल्लीगली एंटर किए थे और उसके लिए भी हम कोशिश जारी है कि वो वापस आ पाए या उनको भी हम ले आए वो अवैध प्रवेश के लिए जो जो प्रक्रिया करनी पड़ती है वो कर रहे हैं इसके अलावा कुछ और लोग हैं जो ऑब्वियसली अभी भी आ, मतलब कैप्टिविटी में है इसका एग्जैक्ट नंबर मेरे पास नहीं है 300 से 500 मैंने भी पढ़ा कहीं से कि कोई एम एक ऑफिशियल कह रहा है मैं भी जानना चाहता हूं कौन कह रहा है आप लोग अगर जाने तो बता दें मेरे पास तो ऐसा कोई नंबर नहीं है आ, कुछ होंगी कुछ लोगों ने हमसे कॉन्टैक्ट किया मैं नंबर और नाम नहीं देना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि उनका परिस्थिति के कारण वो भी कॉन्टैक्ट में है हमारे एम्बेसी के साथ पर उनको भी हम कोशिश कर रहे हैं उनको निकालने की बट तीन सौ तरह नहीं है कम नंबर है उस तरह से पर हमें डर यह है कि वो बढ़ता रहता है बीच बीच में क्योंकि और और लोग जा रहे हैं थाईलैंड में और फिर ऐसे ऐसे कोई ग्रुप के कंट्रोल में आ जाते हैं फिर फंस जाते हैं उधर इसीलिए मेरा यही गुजारिश था सबसे कि आप ऐसे कोई रिक्वेस्ट हो या कोई आप जॉब ऑफर देख रहे हैं जिसको ठीक न लगे आपने अच्छी तरह कॉन्टैक्ट चेक नहीं किया हो आप उसको एक्सेप्ट मत कीजिएगा तो इसी इसी चक्कर में आप फंस जाएंगे कभी कुछ ऐसे ऑफर्स हो लाओस और कंबोडिया में ऐसे ऑपरेशंस चल रहे हैं म्यांमार स्पेसिफिक में मैंने जैसे कहा करीब 50 के लोग निकल आए हैं और भी कुछ हम संपर्क में हैं कुछ भारतीयों से जो वहाँ अटके हुए हैं ऑन द सुधी योर क्वेश्चन ऑन पैरिस क्लब योर क्वेश्चन ऑज पैरिस क्लब बट लेट मी लेट मी मेक अर हैप्स अ मोर जनरल कॉमेंट ऑन श्रीलंका एंड आवर हाउ वी अप्रोच इट आई थिंक दैट वुड बी अ सेफर वे ऑफ यू नो looking at it um we had talked about um, you would have seen a statement from our um, i think a high commission and i think it was last month about the middle of the month um had issued a statement regarding its meeting with the sri lankan side i think it was 16th of september wherein india's support for early conclusion and approval of a suitable imf program uh, was conveyed and subsequently um our high commissioner then attended what is called the ambassadors forum was organized by the government of sri lanka under i think the chairmanship of the president himself of sri lanka on the 22nd of september and um, uh, relevant authorities entities from india attended the subsequent virtual meeting again organized by the sri lankan side on september 23rd look i think we are uh, we are in um, close touch with the relevant sri lankan uh, uh, stakeholders i i think it would require uh, all the major uh, donors or creditors to you know, work together on that and that's why i think this imf restructuring plan and we we are supportive of that so I, i'll leave it at that because i think this is a part of the discussion that are going on i don't have a particular comment on the paris club part but again um, i think a larger uh, you know restructuring with imf led is probably something that we have been uh, aware of and are in touch so hopefully that will our support to our early conclusion approval of a suitable imf program for sri lanka for which financing assurances from creditors to make sri lanka's debt sustainable would be required um swasini on india sri lanka uh, india us which i'll take as three different question uh, i'm to be very honest um i don't know which one to start off um on the us sanctions let me um, th that's the first one you had right look um, i think you are referring to a specific indian entity there was a press release from the us side uh, that is a private company that us entity that you referred to is a private company and this is a new development and we are uh, looking into it uh, you asked whether this issue was take uh, you know come up during em's visit to washington no the subject did not come up during that conversation um on the f16 elements um i think uh, look um, you've seen some statements out i think the us side made some clarification subsequently after that i think uh, one of their senior officials was here he made some comments to, in, in one interview here but i would basically say that look our views on this issue are very well known to the us side um, on, on our concerns and views on f16 for counter terrorism operations um as regards our um, the us ambassador to pakistan his recent visit and his comments 
to uh, Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Um, let me just confirm that yes, our objection to the visit and meetings in Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir by the US ambassador to Pakistan has been conveyed to the US side. Okay, moving on. Any further questions? Yeah, sorry, you had a few questions. You had a hand up? I'll come. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Which one? I'll come back to it. Let me just take the questions. Is, uh, uh, sir, times now. Is uh, WMCC likely to happen in a few days? And secondly, we've heard of 40% of Pakistan being flooded. Has that had any impact on infiltration? Okay. Um, WMCC, when you want it? When or is it happening? Which way is the question? Is it happening? <laughs> okay. Um, the one second I had. Abhishek? Sir, my question, uh, Abhishek from CNN uh, News 18. Sir, my question is regarding Indian students who have been stuck in India, uh, those who are studying in Chinese uh, universities. Uh, no, not many of visas are being issued by Chinese authorities, though they are allowing more students from other countries to visit China and attend their colleges. And also, uh, there is a situation where the direct flights are not available. So uh, these matters have been raised earlier with the Chinese authorities. So what is the update on that? OK, who had a hand up? You, and then I'll come to you. You also? Microphone. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so, Shashank Matu with the Mint. Uh, so, we, the Russian parliament is going ahead with its annexation of Ukrainian territories, and uh, the PR, RPR to the UN basically said that India was very deeply disturbed by the developments in Ukraine. Uh, this has also come after President Putin promised the Prime Minister that they would, that he would, Russia would look into India's concerns about uh, the Ukraine war. Does this annexation of territory change India's position in any way? How are we looking at things as they evolve? Annexation. Okay. And there was one more hand. Yeah, Nanima, go ahead. Um, Nanima from the print. Just wanted to understand what is it that we are planning to actually do with the Afghan students who are waiting for the visas for past over one year. Apparently, some of them have gotten letters from ICCR that their admission has been canceled because they could not reach uh, the universities. Um, they've been also protesting in front of the Indian embassy in Kabul. So if you can give us an update on that. Thank you. Okay, uh, somebody had a hand up. Okay, yeah, and I'll, I'll take the last one there. Uh, Risha from Times Network. Uh, sir, uh, on the uh, India abstaining from uh, voting uh, at uh, UN UNHCR, uh, you have an answer. I would like to have an answer on that. Didn't I say apologies? Did I miss that? No, you missed it. Huh? Ah, sorry, Anil ne poocha tha. Apologies. I thought I've done all of that. I'll come back to you. Okay. That is the UNHCR, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, who had a hand up? Okay, let me take this question because I'm missing one or one of them. Okay, one uh, of you asked what in Hindi? Who was ambassador? The mask and be okay. Yes. Look, what I was saying just now, the US ambassador, who was gone now, POK uh, में POJK में Pakistan occupied Jammu Kashmir में तो इसमें हमारे जो objections हैं और इसके visit के बारे में और उनके meetings के बारे में ये हमने US side को convey कर दिया है और ये आप यही चाहते थे ना उसमें और आपने पूछा था हमारे पहला जो आपका आपका प्रश्न था ना sorry अनिल आपका मुझे answer करना चाहिए था तब इस बार भी UNHRC session चल रही है वहाँ पे और UNHRC सेशन में हमने अभी आम, कुछ रेजोल्यूशंस पे वोटिंग हुई है आपने देखा होगा आपने उनमें से एक में पूछा है आ, मैं उसमें सिर्फ यही कहना चाहूँगा कि आम, हमारे उस वाले वोट के आ, हमने श्रीलंका वाला तो आपने तो श्रीलंका वाले भी आप जानना चाहते थे यू वांटेड द यू उइगुर वन और द श्रीलंका वन सो देन लेट मी स्टिक टू दैट वन ऑन दैट let me just say, just say, we were saying that we have to uphold all the human rights of India. The vote of the vote is coming from the long time of the position of the country specific perspective. The country specific perspective is not the case. The vote of the vote is the case of the vote of the vote. 
और सिंह हमने सिंचियांग उइगुर ऑटोनोमस रीजन में मानवाधिकारों की चिंताओं का के संबंधित जो ओ की रिपोर्ट थी उसका आकलन पर गौर किया है और सिंगयांग उइगुर ऑटोनोमस रीजन के लोगों के मानवीय अधिकारों का सम्मान किया जाना चाहिए और उनकी जो मानवीय अधिकार को गारंटी या रिस्पेक्ट करना चाहिए इस पर जोर देना चाहिए हमें उम्मीद है कि संबंधित पक्ष स्थिति को निष्पक्ष और ठीक रूप से संबोधित करेंगे I to pre I know you will want it in English, so let me say it in English right now. India remains committed to upholding all human rights. India's vote at the UNHRC was in line with its long-held position that country-specific resolutions are never helpful. India favors a dialogue to deal with such issues. We have taken note of the OHCHR assessment of human rights concerns in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of the People's Republic of China. The human rights of the people of Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region should be respected and guaranteed. We hope that the relevant party will address the situation objectively and properly. आपने ये भी पूछा था नील कि वहाँ पे जो टेररिस्ट के विक्टिम्स हैं वो यूएनएचआरसी में बोला था इससे हमारा कोई पोजीशन हाँ देखिए हम टेररिज्म इस तरह से बात करते हैं कोई बड़े डिस्पैशनली दूर तरफ से आई थिंक डायरेक्टली सुनना जो विक्टिम्स हैं उनसे फ़र्क पड़ता है और हमें अच्छा इट स्टेप है कि उनको जो वो काउंसिल इसको सुन पाए डायरेक्टली टेररिज्म के विक्टिम्स का इससे क्या इम्पैक्ट होगा वो तो मैं अभी प्रिजर्व नहीं कर सकता हूँ पर ये इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि एक ह्यूमन फेस दिया जाए टेररिज्म के विक्टिम्स को सिर्फ नंबर्स या आंकड़े ना रहे आई थिंक मूविंग ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस राउंड I would say to the WMCC question, when it's there, we will announce it. I don't have anything to share right now. On the 40% infiltration uh, and the 40% underwater infiltration, look, I'm not the expert on these numbers. You'll have to ask our security agencies. I would only reiterate our position that uh, you know we would like to see um, a change in the ground situation where terrorism and infiltration and these elements are reduced. Um, or ideally um, so that pakistan can take necessary action in that regard uh abhishek you asked about the chinese uh, visas for indian students um this has been an issue that we have been uh, discussing with uh, the chinese uh, side i would like to um, just say that um, as you are aware that you know as i mentioned that both in the, here and in beijing we have been raising this matter Uh, I think the Chinese embassy in August announced that uh, I think effective 24th of August they would it would be accepting visa applications from Indian students wishing to return to China for their studies. Uh, as far as we are aware, as per information, the return of Indian students to China is now underway. Our mission in Beijing has continued to press and pursue with the Chinese side for completing the necessary formalities enabling our students return to China at an early date. I would advise our students. to stay in touch with their universities for carrying out procedures for obtaining a visa and returning to china our uh, mission and our consulates in china are um, stand ready to respond to the students requests for advice or facilitation uh, to the best of their capacity whatever our uh, missions can do so um, i hope that we will see positive movement on this issue um aapne uh, i think aapne pucha tha on the issue of uh, the russian But rather on the annexation element, right? On the, on the latest one. Look on this. I would, I would refer to our explanation of voting the UN Security Council on on a resolution that happened just after uh, the issue of the referendum. Uh, India's position has been clear and consistent from the very beginning of this conflict. The global order is anchored on the principles of the UN Charter, international law, and respect sovereignty and territorial integrity of all states. Um, our vote on any resolution is made keeping in mind the totality of the situation and the text of the resolution and we have already made this uh, a detailed explanation of vote on 30th september so i would refer you to that um regarding nanima on the issue of your afghan look visa is an issue that i must confess is more held you know completely dealt by the ministry of uh, home affairs to be honest this process uh, as you know we have an e visa mechanism going on we have a technical team there uh, but that is not a full fledged embassy that is doing the visa 
Um, I know there have been uh, representations, etc., from Afghan students who would like a visa, but I think um, External Affairs Minister made a uh, comment here, um, I think, a few days ago when he talked about trust and security issues there, which would enable the situation to issue visas there. I don't think I have anything further to add to that. Um, Rishab, your, I answered your question, right? Okay. Um, I think that's it. Okay, you have... Go ahead. Hold on. Microphone. Anybody else? Okay, you have first. You have a mic there? Go ahead. Just give me a second. Uh, sir, in Canada, we are watching social media. Introduce for the record. Ke liye. Sir, Vijay Lakshmi, who is from India TV. Se. I know. Uh, sir, in Canada, the Sikh for Justice is on the 7th November. They are referring to the referendum for uh, independence for Punjab. What is the authority of the government of the United States? Because it's not the first time. It's the first time. It's the first time. And the Sikh for Justice is on the ground. It's the first time. It's the first time. Kalur from the Hindu, there are reports from Iran that over the last four weeks widespread uh, human rights violations have taken place. Um, young women have been murdered in police custody. Um, there are you know, sports figures who are being hunted by the police. Um, has India voted you know, asking for independent investigation in the death of Mahasa Amini at the UNHRC? And what is India's position in general about the uprising that's taking place in Iran over the last several weeks. Okay. No other? We'll close it at that. Okay. Look, um, SFJ or you have so-called referendum. I have already given a statement that we have already given the last time. And I have additional things to say except that such developments, objectionable developments in Canada, we have a lot of fun that these things are allowed to be in a friendly country. We have also said this last time. I think it's called part two. हमने ये इशू हमारे जो कंसर्न्स हैं ये तो ऑब्वियसली कैनेडियन गवर्नमेंट को डिफरेंट लेवल्स कन्वे कर चुके हैं हम अपेक्षा करते हैं कि ऐसे डेवलपमेंट्स या ऐसे एक्टिविटीज़ ना हो हमने एडवाइजरी भी इशू की है कि एंटी इंडिया एक्टिविटीज़ किस तरह से बढ़ रही हैं उस देश में और कितना रिस्क हो सकता है हमारे इंडियंस को ऐसे चीज़ों में आप जैसे जानते हैं हमें भूलना नहीं चाहिए किस तरह से वायलेंस हुआ था कनिष्क का बॉम्बिंग भी इसी तरह के गतिविधियों एंटी इंडिया गतिविधियों से कैसे लिंक हो जाते हो सकती हैं पहले हो चुकी हैं और एस के बारे में तो आप, आप जानते ही हैं कि वो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बैंड है हमारे ना, हमने बैंड कर रखा है कलोल ऑन योर इशू लुक आई डोंट हैव एनी स्पेसिफिक कमेंट टू शेयर ऑन योर क्वेरी आई डोंट थिंक वी हैव सेड एनीथिंग ऑन दिस इन द एच एंड ऑन द ओवरऑल थिंग आई डोंट हैव एन इमीजिएट रिस्पॉन्स टू यू और एनी स्पेसिफिक कॉमेंट ऑन दैट ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग दिस मीडिया ब्रीफिंग